Welcome back to the MansionPoker.com. Poker Dome Challenge, and the third time wasn't the charm for our Kentucky coal miner, Gary Kirk. Third time, he had a pocket pair. His sevens did him in. He's standing by with our Leanne Tweed. Thanks, Chris. Gary, earlier in the game, you actually had a good fold. You folded to a flush. That was pretty smart. And then this last time, you stayed in with the third best pair. What was going through your mind? I thought I could hit straight. Yeah. And I just figured he was playing the pot, going for the pot. You know, we've talked all night long that this was your first plane trip out to Vegas. I know it was short, but was it sweet? Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah. Would you get back on a plane again? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for being here. Good luck in the future. Chris, back up to you. All right, let's take a look at the chip counts. Rick Berger, 122,000. Michael, you've got to be impressed with this play so far. Well, considering everybody started with 50,000 chips, Rick Berger has more than doubled his stake, and he is now in a position to bully the other players. The blinds have gone up. To one and 2,000. Once again, the game is speed poker. 15 seconds to make your decision. Pot limit pre-flop. You can go all in after it. Billy Gray's making the call with the Queen-10 offsuit. Richard Rickabaugh making a move with his ace-jack offsuit. Stuart McMillan, the short stack, folding his hand. Now over to the chip leader. 7,000, right? Rick Berger. I'll call. Facing a raise and making the call with the jack-8 offsuit. The loose call at that. Yeah, he's got extra chips to play around with here, hoping to spike a big flop. We call those gambling chips, and if things don't work out, fine. It only cost him an extra 6000 and that's just a mere pittance when you have 122,000 chips. Nine king-king, yeah. pair of spades on the flop, checked by Berger over to Rickabaugh, the diehard college football fan out of South Carolina. His wife, a Georgia Bulldog, that takes for interesting Saturdays during SEC competition. Give it to him. Oh. No, Rickabaugh making the bet. And nice Berger bet. is going to fold. Still getting now Richard serious. Rickabaugh, Come on, guys. sales director out of Greenville, South Carolina. But you know what? He's most compared to Antonio Esfandiari. Not for his poker skills, but his magic. This is my magic trick. Um, you have a nice little red cloth here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to make a little hole. And we're going to put this right in here. We're going to shove it down in there real good. All right, like that. Let's go. And I can make it come out of either hand. Let's try this hand. All right. And there we go. And that's one of the little magic tricks. <laughs> that was good. Well, Michael, if we continue to run clips like that, we could make all our viewers disappear, too. <laughs> Ooh, very, I'm kidding. Actually, he's very talented. He's a very funny guy. He said he'd love to be a stand up oh. comedian one day. Well, there's no funny business going on in the dome oh. now. Rick Baugh and his. Other competitors are all chasing Burger, and they know only one of them can come back next week for our million-dollar qualifier. We are going to have three players in this pot. Queen, Ace, Deuce. Check. Check. And Black, ironically, Check. with the pair, is still trailing. Rickabaugh's little threes are the best hand. It takes a lot of courage, though, to bet those out when there's an ace and the queen on the flop, but nobody else showed strength. Why not? Take a stab. Well, Berger, Rickabaugh does Going make the stab, and that's right. going to get him the pot. Yeah. And yeah, you got to see me all for, what, about six hands online? Because <laughs> by the time I got to your table. Yeah. Well, good to see the players loosening up just a bit. A Once again, first time, yeah, first time they are playing speed poker. I was short stack. First time on television. I call. And Rickabaugh making the call with Queen 4 suited. That's, McMillan. And that's fairly loose call in early position, Chris. That kind of hand is pretty good to play on the button or if you get to see the flop for free from the blind. But Rickabaugh risks getting re raised. He got away with it this time. Second straight hand, three players on the flop. Jack King 6. Black with top pair. And first to act. And since winning the first two hands in tonight's match, we haven't heard much from Masato Black. Billy Gray, gut shot straight draw. As oh. you can see, the time running out, and he gets rid of his hand. Is this me and, me and you? How much is the bet? 6,000. Now Rickabaugh. Oh. Oh. 
gets rid of his trash hand. Okay. And Masato Black showing the king. It's been a while since we had heard from her. Making a nice little move and catching the flop. Blind still one in 2,000. Once again, the winner tonight pockets $25,000, advances to the second of six $1 million qualifying tables next week. McMillan on the short stack folds. Chip leader Berger does the same, and Black with the King Nine offsuit announcing a raise. And more important than her hand, she has the button, that orange disc in front of her. That's the most powerful position at the table. She'll get to act last for the rest of the hand. She and Rickabaugh go to the flop. Rickabaugh making the call from the big blind. Trey Deuce wow. four. Look at this. A flush for Rickabaugh. As you can see, based on our percentages, as long as he does not fold, he will win this hand. And he is leading out. One note Johnny over here. Bet of 10,000. Black with a flush draw herself, but gets rid of the hand. I'll let you see that one. <laughs> so, Richard Rickabaugh getting it done against yeah. Masato Black, at least for that hand. We will continue with more action from Las Vegas, Nevada, right after this.